Hey everybody, welcome to Comic Book Club. I'm Alex. I'm Pete. And Justin is dead. Yeah, no, we've said that before. Yeah, He's sure actually he at a bachelor party in Germany. Uh, you know, Which is take cool. from that what you will. Yeah. Guys, we have three DC number ones to talk to you guys about today. We are going to talk about Wonder Woman number one, Blue Beetle number one, and Batman number one. We paced that out really nicely. Yeah. Really good. <laughs> cool. So let's uh, kick it off talking about Wonder Woman number one from Cliff Chiang and Brian Azarello. Now, we've had Cliff Chiang on our live show a bunch of times. Really cool guy. Really nice. Amazing art. Brian Azalello, we have not had it on our live show, but he has a gorgeous beard. Yeah, we've talked to him a couple times at conventions. <laughs> really amazing writer, tripped out dude, fun to talk to. So what did you think about Wonder Woman? There's a lot of hype, I think, behind this book. I was excited about this Wonder Woman, and then I opened it up and I was like, what is happening to my Wonder Woman? Uh, a lot of crazy stuff in the beginning grabs your attention right away, but then we get to see Wonder Woman kick an ass and it feels awesome. Uh, kind of crazy. I don't know where it is, but very interesting number uh, number one issue. And I can't say enough about Cliff Chang's art. It's awesome. Yeah, I, if for nothing else, pick up this issue for Cliff Chang's art, which is gorgeous. I love his take on Wonder Woman. She actually looks like a Greek woman. Yeah. You know, as opposed to looking like generic a superhero. She eats a lot of yogurt and has a beard. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Oh, boy. Uh, uh, spat on top of so, Sorry, so I didn't mean to throw you off with that bad bit. <laughs> no, no, that's um, fine. But, uh, yeah, uh, she looks fantastic, badass. Uh, yeah, I just was really surprised with how crazy the first issue is. It's a weird story. They're yeah. going for a different take on the Greek myths here. I'm not totally in love with it yet. I can see myself getting more into it as I read issues on it. I'm definitely going to do that again for Cliff Chang's art. Yeah. Um, but There's a dreamlike quality to it. Yeah, yeah. It, it feels very surreal the entire time you're reading it. You're not quite sure what's going on. The characters are not quite sure what's going on. But it's an interesting take to really go, hey, you think it's going to be something? I'm going to go completely different. So yeah. I tip my hat to that. It was, it was, I, I was a patient. I was like, what is happening? Yeah, uh, it, it's so, a it's a weird issue. I feel a little conflicted about it, but I'll definitely be picking up. Today. Yeah, I, it was definitely a hell of a ride. Cool. Let's move on and talk about Blue Beetle number one, which is Tony Bedard. Uh, now we, I don't know about you, Pete. Yeah. Blue Beetle by John Rogers, one of my favorite books of all time. The first twenty five issues wow. is incredible. All time, really? all time. Yeah. <laughs> That's a heck of a statement. Yeah, that and uh, <laughs> Superman see. and Batman versus Vampires and Werewolves. I think those are my top two. Okay. All right. Uh, but yeah, so this is, I mean, I love the, the most recent run of Blue Beetle, uh, where it was, him in New Mexico was amazing. Uh, and I feel like this does like a very interesting job of rebooting it to what I love, so I'm very excited about that. This is one of the most clear reboots, I think, yeah. of this relaunch, not to keep using slightly different words that are almost exactly the same. If you read the first 25 issues of Blue Beetle, this is condensing it, it's simplifying it, it's getting rid of the previous Blue Beetles, so this is really the first Blue Beetle. The ideas are still good, the ideas are still solid. I just feel like, okay, this is like watching the first 10 minutes of Batman Begins when I already know who Batman is. Right. And I want to see where it goes next. Right. Uh, for new readers, though, great. Now you don't have to read 25 amazing issues. Good yeah. for you. Yeah, way to, way to condense that, you guys. Nice work. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this was, uh, I was very excited with the where it is. But it was a little bit like, hey, I know this already. Yeah. But that being said, I'm excited for where it is. Yeah, it's go. solid. Again, it's not really blowing me away necessarily, yeah. but I hope that it sticks because I think Jaime Reyes is one of the better new characters that's been created in the last several decades. Uh, last one to talk about is Batman number one by Scott Snyder, art by Greg Capullo. This book is awesome. Unbelievable. Amazing. I was like, I want to hear what you had to say about this. Reacting to almost every other page, it was phenomenal. I could not believe what was happening. And they throw some twists, some curveballs. Yeah. There was a very emotional moment where I was like, what the heck is happening? I do not like this. Scott Snyder, why would you do this? And I kept writing, and I was like, okay, Scott, I'm sorry for doubting you. You uh, tip your hat a lot. Uh, you don't even have a hat. I don't. Tip it. I don't. Uh, but uh, yeah, uh, this was unbelievable. An emotional roller coaster, if you will. Yeah, actually, one thing that I thought was really interesting about this, we talked about how much we liked Scott Snyder's run on Detective Comics. Really smart, really dark, really involving, moody character work. 
This is, if not the exact opposite, totally different. It's fun and it's actually funny at heart. Yeah. It's really enjoyable to read and I think a lot of that comes out of Greg Capullo's art, which I was a little conflicted about at first, but as I came to see what they were doing, they were emulating Batman the Animated Series yeah. a lot in this. It's a little more all ages. You know, there's some slightly violent stuff, but there's not really anything over the top necessarily. I wouldn't say all ages because there's a lot of smoking. There is a lot of kids. Have you been? Have you been outside the? Uh, <laughs> That's all they do. There's a lot of Jim smoking. Gordon uh, is great in this as well. Yeah, this is amazing issue, amazing character stuff. If you don't know anything about Batman, I have no idea how that could happen. But if you don't know anything about Batman, <laughs> welcome to the issue. world. Hello, I hope your rock was nice. <laughs> but yeah. this issue is great. Definitely pick it up. I think this is probably my favorite thing from the New Fifty Two since Adam and Matt. Wow. Yeah, this is definitely my second favorite of the first being Justice League. I know. I know. I've right. been taking a lot of golf. No, a lot of golf. I'll support you. But uh, this Between Batman Between Tony Daniel and Scott Snyder, Batman is in great hands. And guys, that's it. If you want to find out more about us, you can check out our website. We have a new website at comicbookclublive.com where we have info about our shows, podcasts, a forum that nobody is chatting on, so you should check that out. Pete, anything you want to tell people? Hey, if you're ever in New York City on oh. Tuesday at 8 o'clock, We'd love to see you at our live show. We give away prizes. It's a ton of fun. And sometimes Justin's there. <laughs> Bye.